a new camera person, Donnie. So, part two of the 434 deal. Billy Fisher. Yes. What, what makes you think you do sonar heads and build motors? What's the background? I was in Cup for 20 years doing sonar heads, R&D work for GM, work for Childress, Yates, Jimmy Means. That's all I did was sonar heads. So you know a little something about a little something? Yeah, a little something maybe. I might get lucky every now and then. Actually, Billy is the master at doing modifications that nobody can catch. Master cheater, <laughs> which which is a very very valuable position to have in any form of drag racing. That he can do things that they can't find out what exactly he done. I think there's even a bet about that going on right about now, isn't there? There is out there on a manifold. I did that nobody could find. It. They haven't been able to find it yet. How long have they been looking? Yeah. About three days. This Billy, run this through. Dude, you, you, you're one of the smartest guys on camshafts and cylinder heads that I've ever met. Run this through where we start, how you got this to come to this. Which this is the CNC, CNC 40 Pro finished. 40 head finished. This is the stock out of the box. That's cast head. as out of the box. So you can run that head. It flows real good. What's your flow? Uh, I think 230. 237 cc runner i think it will close around three 320 320 yeah 310 out of the box out of the box out of the box three With a two, 23 10 320 yeah okay this one so here seems what is this what is this head for it's only 10 cc's bigger and it flows 380 out of done okay With a 2180 valve 2180 valve 1600 1600 so we have a difference of 50 cfm is that what that was Am I doing that math correct? Yeah. So 50 CFM to go from this to this. this. Yeah. How'd you do it? How'd I do it? Well, let's stand it up and talk about your shoulder head. You were just telling me how proud you were of what, what, what you accomplished here. So how did you, what did you do to cut, get, because this is your combustion chamber design, right? Yeah. It's much here like this. We got two chamber design. This is the old Brodak style head that we used to run a cup back in the day. As you can see, it comes right off of the exhaust and straight down. There's no swirl effect like on these. So as you see on this one, you can see the two difference. This one here, as the fuel comes in, it'll come around, swirl about the top. It won't put the flame out in the piston, out of the spark plug. A lot of people don't realize that when the fuel comes around, there's half the time it shuts the fuel off. You don't get off spark. So this way, if you can pick it up, and if you look on your pistons, you can see the swirl mark in your pistons by the chain, by the carbon design and all that on it. You never see a piston that's carbon 100% all the way across the top. You never piston. do. You always see it start on one side and end up on nothing on the other side. So this right here is what you're going to pick up coming in. This this does work. This works better. Nothing wrong with this. We just want to. You be said better. this was an old Brodex design that started this. Who this was back this? in the cup days when we was running 23 degree heads with the GMs. The Brodex. Whose design is this? This is the design I did. Okay. It basically comes in, as you can see, a casted, as casted port, but it's not laid back as far, or is it goes out much? Somebody squeaking. That refrigerator. That refrigerator. Oh. So, anyways. We were going to PRI. Chris said, hey, we got to hurry up and do a port so we can take this head to PRI. So we can just, just debut it so everybody knows what we're trying to do. So it took me about a day and a half. I come up with this port design right here, this one. And this is where I come out to 247 CFMs, or CC runner, and it flows 380. With a standard 45 degree C, 60, and all that done to it with this chamber in it. This was your final chamber. That's my final chamber. So if you if you get close up, let me get close up on that and look at the difference between this chamber, come over here, this chamber, the design, this chamber, and you can see the progression of when Billy was playing with this thing. You see this one looks like it's a little bigger than what this one, but he was taking one at a time and seeing which way it worked the best. So now you can buy this head out of the box. That's gas. Or we got Chris in the background, so we're, we're gonna have Chris chime in on this. What's the difference between a ported head and an out of the box head, money-wise? 
money wise, you're looking at about seven hundred dollars difference. Seven hundred bucks for fifty CFM. And fifty CFM old rule of thumb is uh, one CFM is two horsepower, so it's a hundred horse. Conservative seventy five. <laughs> Billy, Billy, I'm going back to video one. Conservative 75. So at some point, we're going to have to do a video on how in the hell you can do that. Okay. I know how we can do it. I know how you can do it because I'm here. But we need to do a video on how you guys can pull that off. All right. So Billy is going to be the one building the 434. Right now, we're going to build a 434 with their package, all of their parts. Everything is going to be the same stuff. You can pick up the phone. Call Chris, call Billy, and order. And we're going to see how much power it makes, and we'll put the power adder on it. We're going to put Billy's heads to the test. And, and this is all going to be, this is no special ship for Reaper, correct? Correct. This is going to be exactly what everybody else buys. Because everybody's got all these rumors. Ryan Martin has broke blowers nobody else has got. Everybody no. on Street Outlaws gets shit nobody else has got. And that's not true. We're, we're going to build this package, take it to the dyno, dyno it, the exact same parts. As long as you can bake the exact same cake, you got to follow the recipe. You can't change one egg for four eggs or none of that shit because the, the whole, everybody with half a brain knows that, this, and this is what makes power. You type one of those out of the equation, just fuck the whole cake. It's up. a combination. And Billy and I both like cake. <laughs> but we don't want the cake screwed up. We want good cake. Yeah. All right. But that's what we're doing. That's the second installment. We're going to do some of the videos I'll be narrating, but they're going to do as they're building the motor because I can't stay in Tennessee while they're building it, even though later today when it quiets down out in the shop, we're going to show you the block and stuff that Billy's already started on the machine work, and, and it's almost ready to go, isn't it? Yeah, it's ready to go. Oh, it's ready to I go. I just got to wash it up, clean it up, paint it, start putting it together. We're going to do that here a little bit. It's already been honed. It's all done. And I actually take it back. We got to hone it. No, the, the, which one? This this gonna be the head we're using? Yes. The exact cylinder. The, head. the exact cylinder head. Exact cylinder head sitting out there on this. Now the the head, so we, we have three sets of heads. Have they already been. I know. Have, have they already been ran? No. I mean, have they already been machined and, and CNC'd and all that? Yes. I just got different seats in them. Okay. So. Well, we don't have to show the process of it. We can just show them the finished product, which my fans like to see the finished product anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, we will have Chris to do some videos when Billy's assembling the motor. And like I said, this is going to be the package anybody can buy. And we're going to work together to figure out how we can build a car that can be competitive. Everybody says nobody can run what we run because we get special shit on fixing and prove. Every asshole in the, on the internet, you're wrong. You can buy the shit just like we buy it. We're out.